As I was growing up, I recognized that my grandfather was very well known in town. He was very well known in his church. And one day, as we were sitting at uh, dinner at his house, my grandfather said to my grandmother, well, Pard, he call her, called her Pard. Sometimes he called her Mart. Uh, they were the best of friends. He said, well, Pard, I went to get my hair cut down at the hotel, that's the Hotel de Pont. And I had to wait for such a long time. So I said to my grandfather, just immediately, well, grandfather, why didn't you just tell them who you are? And he looked at me, and he got the funniest look on his face, and he turned to my grandfather and he said, well, Pard, she thinks I'm something. When people ask me what he was like, I always think of that incredible twinkle that he had in his eye all the time. He had that total synthesis integration of life and work. I think I would like people to recognize that he was uh, a person who enjoyed life to the fullest, that he enjoyed nature, and that he loved uh, bringing it to canvas for others to enjoy for perpetuity. After he died, I bought the studio here, and three of us, uh, actually four of us all together, bought the entire property before they tore them down, thank goodness. And we like to feel that the building, you know, has a long future through either an um, association with a museum or through a nonprofit status where at least one of the studios, uh, this one in particular, um, is open to the public and represents kind of a, a um, unique look at a, a working American illustrator. The Pyle Studios are still on the map, fortunately, but there's really no ambience, uh, there's no real character in Pyle Studios, sadly, that would say, wow, the big man just walked out the door for lunch. Or here, you kind of think granddad just went out for lunch and he'll be right back. <laughs>